Hi there, this is Mark, and I would like to talk about all the Google products that I did not talk about in my website and my final project for the class YouTube for Educators. Well, maybe I won't talk about all of them, but I would like to mention a few that I did not include because uh, of time constraints and size of project constraints. But these are other Google products uh, that definitely have uh, a great application for education uh, in some form or the other. Uh, there's just so many different uh, applications Google provides that, that you can use in education, whether it's to simplify using your computer, uh, you know, finding things through the search engines, uh, finding books, uh, you know, making your computer easier uh, to access information. Uh, Google has a, a literally a, a over 50 or more applications that, that work uh, to help your computer run better, to, to help you use your computer and get the most out of it, and to help you uh, in your classroom activities. Uh, I'll just point down to some of them as we go, but Google Chrome is a new Google browser. I have it. I use it. Uh, it's uh, extremely fast. It's very stable, and it's highly secure. Uh, I haven't gone to it 100% yet, but uh, you know, I, I definitely use it along with uh, Firefox, and I, I pretty much abandoned Internet Explorer in favor of these other two uh, browsers. Uh, all the different search engines I've listed on my website, there's, there's I believe, over a dozen of them. Uh, but here you can customize your search. Uh, the next uh, category here is desktop. Uh, it allows you to personalize your desktop to add the, the different Google applications and other gadgets and goodies you can find out on the web, but uh, it, it allows you to personalize your computer in a way that uh, no other uh, software program has been able to achieve. Uh, here's one that definitely, definitely has a good application for education, and that's Google Earth. I have not used that much. I've checked it out a little bit, but from what I see, it's just a phenomenal software program. Uh, maybe in a, another project, I'll do something with Google Earth, but uh, you know, it, it looks like it has uh, a plethora of applications in the classroom. For business people, uh, here's a finance uh, website. Uh, I know one thing you can do with Google Docs in the in the Excel spreadsheet is you can link uh, a lot of your your stocks and and whatever you're doing with in the financial world uh, to that spreadsheet. And every day you can open it up and check uh, your 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 uh, how your stocks are doing. Maybe you don't want to be checking much right now, but uh, in good times it comes in handy. Uh, I'll skip over. Here's one where you can uh, track your family's medical health records and keep them online. Uh, that, that would help you for uh, visiting the doctor. iGoogle is another way of setting up your, your Google homepage. And uh, it allows you to put a lot of cool tools right on the page, uh, uh, things that you use all the time that make it easier to access. Uh, Google Images is another uh, application that uh, literally has millions of images that you can find on the internet. Many are linked to sites that charge for their images. Uh, so uh, I haven't used it that much for that reason. Uh, but it, there are a lot of free, free sites that uh, provide images through Google's uh, image website. Uh, but it does link to a lot of sites where the, you have to pay for the images. Nevertheless, if there's an image that you can't find, you, you can likely find it at Google Images. We've talked about Google Maps, Google News. That's pretty straightforward. You can link the news to your websites. 
uh, Google Notebook. This is another one I almost put in the project, but because of size and time, I, I took out. But uh, this is a program that allows you to capture clips off the web. Uh, as you're, you're ser searching the web for information, uh, if you find sites that you like or just passages or little areas of a website that you like, it allows you to highlight them and then grab them and keep track of them and come back and, and look at them later. Uh, if you're trying to search uh, quickly, uh, Google Notebook allows you to, to quickly uh, access you know, and, and capture what you need and move on to the next thing. Patent search, uh, just an, uh, specialized search engines for patents. If you're someone out inventing something, uh, that you might be interested in seeing if there's already a patent on it. Uh, it might have some some application for uh, college level classes. Uh, product search. This is more of a shopping search uh, search engine. Uh, Google Scholar is a search engine that helps you find scholarly papers. This will come in handy for research projects. Uh, there's there's lots of scholar scholar papers out there that have been posted, and Google uh, has a search engine for searching for those uh, papers. Moving on, special searches uh, allows you to pick a topic and just search within that topic. Uh, everybody knows about the Google toolbar that you put up uh, at the top of your uh, uh, your your desktop. Uh, Google Video, I didn't talk much about it, but Google Video and YouTube are pretty much the same. Now that Google bought YouTube, uh, web search, we know what that is. We, web search features, that probably allows you to categorize your website your, your web searches into certain areas. Uh, I'm not sure what Google Code is, but I think it has to do with finding source code that's uh, open source and allows you to use, the, use that for uh, programming projects. Google Lab, that's an area where Google uh, is developing new products and it allows uh, people from all over the world, any user, to provide feedback to, to some of the projects they're working on. Uh, many of the, 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 the uh, software applications on this page here came out of Google uh, Labs. We've talked about Blogger, Calendar, Google Docs, Gmail, the best email program out there. Uh, it's free, it, unlimited act, uh, space, uh, tons of features. It it links well with Google Calendar. Uh, it's it's just a great Gmail uh, email program. Uh, our school uses it, Boise State University, and it is rapidly replacing lots of the uh, older, real real archaic types of uh, email software. Large organizations like Boise State used to have. Uh, Google Groups, we, dis we discuss that, we discuss Null, uh, Orkut, that's another one I almost included in, in, the, in the project, but that's uh, similar to Facebook uh, and uh, MySpace, so that's a, that's a social networking site that uh, could have some application in education depending on how you, how you use it. We talked about Picasa. Uh, Google Reader is a way to get all your blogs and your news feeds, uh, your RSS feeds in quickly. We talked about Google Sites. Google SketchUp, I almost used it. It's a 3D modeling program, but I think it has more, it has limited access uh, and more into specialized classes like uh, architect classes or uh, other classes that, that uh, would allow, would need you to be able to do some 3D model, modeling. We talked a little about Google Talk. It's basically a glorified chat room area. Translate, that translates your web pages into uh, any la uh, number of different languages. We talked about YouTube and then uh, as we, we mentioned just a little uh, Google is really working to uh, 
bring its applications to the small device uh, uh, small devices like mobile phones and and all these fancy little Apple type units uh, well anyway that's about it I'm running out of time so I'm gonna have to close but I wanted to give you an overview of some of the applications that I did not include in my project anyway thank you for listening